Hello? Use your outside voice. Okay, my outside voice, okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Forest. I am the president of the board directors here at the Colonial Clubs. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you here to the Colonial Club on this beautiful Halloween afternoon to our official 50th anniversary celebration. We are very honored to have Governor Tony Evers and Dane County Executive Joe Parisi join us today, and you'll be hearing from both of them later on. Before we get our program underway, would you please join me in a moment of silence as we pay tribute to all those individuals who have played a role in shaping of this beloved senior center. Thank you. We're gathered here today, 50 years to the day that another large group of people gathered here to mark the official opening of the Colonial Club. I can only imagine the excitement they must have felt to have been able to pull all the teams together that would make their senior center dream a reality. Sometimes today it seems like it takes a miracle to get everyone in a room to do this. 50 years ago they planned, they fundraised, and they built this place in a matter of four years. We salute all those individuals, businesses, and organizations that help make the Colonial Club dream a reality. It is my honor to introduce to you one of the individuals who has connections to that earlier time and who is now serving as four years as mayor of Sun Prairie, Mr. Paul Esther. Thank you, Kathy. It's a pleasure to have you all here today. Welcome to Sun Prairie. This is a special day. It's a time to remember something that's happened that has a very big influence on this community. And we are fortunate today that we have Governor Eber with us, along with his wife, Kathy, and our county executive, Joe Parisi, who are always welcomed in this community, both of you. We like having you here, and it's a pleasure to have you here with us today. Also joining us today, with us from the Sun Prairie City Council, our Council President Steve Stocker, 1st District Alder Person Terry McElroy, and 3rd District Alder Maureen Crombie. It's good to have everybody here. Now the City Council has asked me to issue a proclamation on their behalf, and so I have that with me, and I'm going to read that now, and then I will give it to Bob Howard the Colonial Club in 1969, and whereas ground was broken for the Colonial Club building in September of 1970, and whereas the doors of the Colonial Club opened for the first time in October of 1971, and whereas for the past 50 years the Colonial Club has worked to serve Fitchburg, Verona, all of the other communities in Dane County. 
But from the very beginning, from October of 1969, when the Get much closer, Bob. Yes, but it has chosen to be a nonprofit corporation with its own board of directors and it's done its own fundraising. The uniqueness of this is reflected in its programs. It has chosen to provide services to the seniors not only in the city of Sun Prairie but in all of Northeast Dade County. It has a wider range than you would expect if it were municipal operation. And another unique feature of the Colonial Club is that back in 1988, it began an adult daycare services. Adult daycare is somewhat like child care, where you have a place that people can go that need supervision, but can be in a safe environment where they can get services. And that is another unique feature of this club that you don't usually see, and it's a very valuable aspect of it. But even though the club is not a municipal organization, it has received services from the city from its very beginning in October of 1969. In October of 1969, we began meeting in the basement of the city library. And in that year, in that first year, the city council granted them a, an appropriation of $500. In the second year, that was pre increased to $4,500 and he has increased steadily since then. In this upcoming year, 2022, the city of Sun Prairie will be providing the Colonial Club with $230,000 in support. And last year, disruption due to COVID, the City Council provided them with an additional $50,000 on a one-time basis. That is the, the type of support that is coming.